YouTube, it's your girl Tiara Nala, and today I am feeling blessed and finessed. So today I'm just going to talk about, as you can tell by the title, things I wish I knew before I moved to California. So I have I actually have my notes. So I'm be looking down just so the video is just not way overdue, and um, I'm just not like rambling on too much like I'm doing right now. Um, so anyway, the first thing I wish I knew about was the public transportation out here. So I live in San Jose, the Bay Area, um, Silicon Valley, I think that's how you say it. Look, I'm still not too much familiar, but um, Silicon Valley. So the they have, okay, so there's the BART system in Cali, but I'm, I don't think that's like where I live. I, they don't have the BART where I live at from my understanding now they have the Caltrain and the Caltrain is not like your regular New York subway um it's above ground and it's more like it's like the LRR if you're from New York and you know what the LRR is it's like that so it goes to like the the zones the like San Jose to San Francisco to um Oakland or whatever so it goes to like the big areas is just one stop in that area um the next thing they have is the vta and that's what i take i take the vta that is the bus system and i don't know okay this is the thing i'm not sure what like if vta is for like everywhere cali i just know it's for the location that i'm at um, and that's what I use. So what I didn't know before is that like you need a clip a card. So they have like just like New York have a metro card. You have a clip a clip a card that you use for the VTA system. Now New York your metro card you could use that for you know the regular train and the bus. And I'm not sure if cali have a regular train this is i think they do because i saw like a g train but i have not used that yet so i don't know too much about that yet it's it's a lot of cali is so freaking big and we're gonna get into that later but anyway you need a clipper card if you come out here you don't need it but it's best if you have a clipper card because what i didn't know is you have to pay for transfers if you don't have a clip clipper card so in new york if you pay with cash for the bus, um, you can't pay with cash for the train, but if you pay with cash for the bus, you get a free um, a free transfer still, um, whether you use cash or um, the Metro card. Out here, you only get a free transfer if you use the Clipper card, and I didn't know that. And it's like, you could get, basically in New York, you could get, uh, metro card like anywhere anywhere you could go to the store and purchase a like a single ride or two ride fare um usually like the delis they sell that out here i i literally had to walk when i got off of work i had to walk to a caltrain area and that caltrain area did not um they didn't have the vta there so they didn't sell clipper cards so i had to take the caltrain or I had to pay six dollars to take it to another, <laughs> take it all the way to another um, stop that was in San Jose. But San Jose is so freaking big. We'll get into that later. Um, just to get a clipper card, and that was just a lot. And then I still had to take up the bus home, so that was just a lot. Um, that's one thing I really really wish I looked into. I wish I looked into the transportation and how that is out here. Um, the next thing I wish I, I knew is like the area, what's around me, the demographic. So it's not a lot of black people out here. I think it's like 2% black people um, in, my, in my neighborhood. Now that comes into, well first you, it's comforting when you, when there's people around like you. But the biggest thing is like certain stuff that I'd see or I'd be able to get in neighborhoods where the demographics of black people are bigger, um, I can't get out here. So like hair products, 
I have to walk 30, 35 minutes to the mall just to go to Target to get. And even then, if I go there, like, it's still scarce. It's, I have a better chance of ordering from Amazon or something. Um, they don't have, like, the beauty the beauty supplies out here that, that, you know, the local beauty supplies in my area. They don't have that. Um, so, like, getting extensions or whatever to do braid or locks or, you know, whatever I want to do, gel, um, dye, all of that is clipped. So, um, also, it, like, food, the food options. So, in this area, they have a lot of um, Japanese and Asian cuisines over here in this area. And if you walk down a little more, um, that's when you start to see a lot of um, Hispanic and Spanish cuisines over there in, in um, restaurants and groceries and stuff like that. So... You know, they don't have no soul food over here. They don't got no Caribbean food. They ain't got no African food. They ain't... <laughs> they don't have that over here. So, also, like, if I go to the grocery over here, it's certain stuff that I just can't get. And I would have to um, take a lift or or I could take the, take the bus, too, um, to get, but... That's just something I wish I t would have took into account. I mean, I knew the demographics when I moved to the, this area. I kind of looked that up, but I didn't really gave myself much time to over like to think that through. Um, the weather now the weather isn't bad. <laughs> the weather is better from New York because I don't like the cold in New York. It gets cold. It snows. It's uh Um, now the weather here is not. It's not as cold as it would be in New York, which I'm thankful for. But, but when I thought about Cali, I thought about hot, 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 hot. I ain't know it get. It's still to get chilly here. Um, and like in my area, what happens is, um, I'm sorry, y'all. My neck. I got these kinks. I need to go to a chiropractor. Um, in my area, so it's really cold in the morning, like 30 degrees and stuff, and then it'll get like hot during the day. Um, but it's sunny for mo for the most part, for the most of the days, which I really like. Um, really glad not to see any snow. I hate snow. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, so that's what I thought. Because, like, when I moved here and I was packing, when I was, like, packing stuff, I did not bring any coats. I didn't bring any coats. I barely bought sweaters and I didn't bring big, chunky, heavy sweaters. Because I was like... It's gonna be hot. I don't need this. And now I think about it, I was like, dang, I should have kept that cute coat that I threw away. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's you know not too much a big deal. I went and got myself a coat and another sweater, but sweater, sweater. Uh, but I wish I knew that before. Um, the fourth thing I wish I knew is how big Cali actually is. My God, Cali is so big. And I didn't realize that. I didn't realize I wanted to, like, live close to L.A. I don't live close to L.A. I live, like, five-hour drive from L.A. Now, it's closer than New York. So, if I wanted to do something like spend the whole weekend there or do a drive, you know, like a, a train ride there and spend a whole day there and then, you know, come back, I, 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 I could do that. But it's not as close as, like... Yeah, like, like, I'm, you know, I'm in Brooklyn. I'm gonna go to the city today. I'm gonna go to the city tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the city every day. It's not like that. Um, so I wish I knew that. But I, I like, I like San Jose. I like my area. I like Santa Clara is where I live. I believe I'm still, y'all, I'm still, still don't really know the counties like that out here. So, um, the fifth thing I wish I knew is how big San Jose is. So, um, San Jose is big, and y'all, so I have two jobs. One of the jobs I took is caregiving, and I I thought I got an offer to take a job option tomorrow. I took the job. I didn't know how far I was going to be. Yo, I cannot take the bus there. I cannot walk there. It's a six 
hour walk there to stay in the same San Jose, stay in the same area. So it's just like, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna need to get a car soon. I'm gonna need to get my license. <laughs> I need to get my license and then get a car. Um, so I wish I knew how big San Jose was, was and took that into account. Um, the next thing is still, again, with, like, public transportation. See, a lot of things is, like, it's not too bad. It's not bad out here. But it's some things I wish I knew. Anyway, so the sixth thing is the public transportation commute versus the car commute. So in New York, like, all right, here's the thing. In New York, for the majority of the time, it's faster getting somewhere with public transportation than driving. That is not the case out here. So out here, a 20 minute ride, car ride, can be a six hour, seven hour drive. And I mean, a six hour, seven hour like walk, and uh, uh, I said six hour, seven hour drive. It could be so a 20 minute drive could be a six hour, seven, seven hour walk, and a three, two, two hour, three hour, um, on the bus. That's a problem because I didn't take that account when um, picking my where I live to where I get to work. So my first work location is fine. I've gotten the routine of getting there and what time I need to catch the bus, when I need to catch the bus. Um, I, I kind of, I'm getting, you know, I, I've only been working for one week there so far, but I've kind of gotten that in the routine. It's not too bad. I've had longer, um, I have, I've had longer uh, commute to school and work out in New York, so it's not bad. It's about an hour. It depends. It depends. It, it, early in the morning, for real, I'll be the only one on the first bus. It'd be me or only me or sometimes me and another person on that first bus, so it's not too bad. The second bus, you know, it'd be some people on there, and they got a faster one, um, kind of like a, a express. So it's not too bad, but I wish I knew that because it's uh like a 15 minute 15 17 minute 20 minute drive to my job but it is about an hour and some change it could be an hour to five minutes from an hour to 20 25 minutes on the bus um so i wish i i took that into account so it's not too bad because like i said all my previous jobs in New York has been about the same, same uh, commute, except for exception of like maybe one job. It was like 30 minutes to get there or 50, not even 30, maybe about 20 minutes to get there. And then another one when I was in like high school and this was like a summer job, it was literally two blocks away. The last thing I'm trying to wrap this up soon is I wish I took into account like I didn't know this area was like the tech area. I didn't know that until a friend told me that. Um, it's nothing bad about that. It's just that of course it's gonna be pricier because you know tech. Um, and then usually the people around here is going to be techies. So a lot of people, at least where I live, they like stay to themselves or stay inside when I'm on my way to work I don't see that much people also going to work or leaving and then you know people student kids are not really going to school um so that's just you know I haven't really met anyone out here to like hang with or whatever so that's just that that's just a few things that I wish I knew about um Kelly, before I moved here, it's not too bad, but it's it is some stuff that I need to adjust to and maneuver. Um, for the most part, I really like living out here. I am hoping to meet some people because it's kind of boring, kind of lonely. I don't have my cat out here yet with me, so I don't really know anybody. So kind of boring. I don't have any family out here either, so you know. 
Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go. I keep saying uh uh uh. I hope y'all enjoy this video. If y'all have any questions, I'm thinking of doing a Q and A. So comment down below if you have any questions on my like. Some people have already done it. They contact me on my social media. You can ask me. Like I'm fine with y'all. Um, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Ask me questions if you have any questions. I'll probably answer those questions as well in my Q and A, just in case anybody else wanted to know those questions. Um. But yeah, if you guys have any requests for like videos or whatever you want to see, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But um, yeah. Y'all know the motto, stay true and be you.